we make sure that when we are training students, conduct is part and parcel of the assessment criteria for progression. Unless we do, we do that, we are going to have bad seeds out there denting the image of the profession, and that will not work to our advantage. We are going to have practitioners out there who probably could have been boxers, and they have ended up, because they are intelligent, they have ended up in the medical profession. But that's not what we want to have. We want to fall back on the three C's that were uh, developed by the Ministry of Health. Caring environment. So a practitioner has to care for the patients. We don't want a practitioner that would abandon work because they have a dispute with the employer. We deem that actually as professional misconduct because we don't expect that even in the absence of one or two things that you would abandon the patients because you have a dispute with the employer. Some of those you see that they come about because people have misplaced priorities. If you have a passion for the profession that you want to pursue, you put patient care as a priority. So I would want you to appeal to you as students that it starts when you are students. And then you build, you build on that. Zambia has produced very good doctors.